Does this look like a world record holder? Well, at the time of its construction in 1895, Milwaukee City Hall was the tallest habitable building in the world. It held the title for four years until it was overtaken in 1899 by the Park Row building in New York City. Designed by Henry C. Koch in the Flemish Renaissance Revival style, modeled after the Hamburg Rathaus or City Hall in Germany. It is a very impressive and intimidating building to stand before, and the inside is just as imposing, with an opaque skylight letting in natural light, a unique feature you do not find very often. City Hall was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1973, and declared a National Historic Landmark in 2005. Its familiar shape was a symbol of everything related to Milwaukee until the completion of the Milwaukee Art Museum in 2001. Kilbourne Tower is a 34-story luxury condominium building containing 74 units. Built in 2005, I think it is one of the best-looking buildings on this list. Not to be confused with its neighbor to the south, we will learn about that tower later on. Located at the corner of Kilbourne and Prospect Avenue, here it is in the skyline looking to the west. At the time of its construction, it was the tallest residential tower in the city, overlooking Juneau Park, Milwaukee Harbor, and Lake Michigan. 777 is a slender, 34-story, luxury residential tower located on 777 North Van Buren Street. The tower has 14 penthouse units, a rooftop pool, an indoor golf simulator, and a large fitness center. A unique feature is the dog park located on the 8th floor. That way, residents don't have to leave the building to take their pets outside. On the ground floor, there is a boutique grocery store that is actually fairly large with a great variety. The building also has eight floors of parking, which serves the tower itself, as well as the surrounding buildings owned by Northwestern Mutual. Everyone I know that lives here loves it, and in the future, I will be making a video that shows a time lapse of its construction. Northwestern Mutual North Tower was built in 1990 and was the original stronghold for the insurance company until the construction of a new tower and commons we will discuss later. The North Tower's most unique feature is a light blue pyramid at its summit, which is lit up at night. The tower has a great view of Lake Michigan and surrounding parks. 411 East Wisconsin Center is a 30-story mixed-use office building. It was the second tallest building in Milwaukee at the time of its completion in 1985. Surpassed by the Associated Bank River Center in 1988, the tower was constructed using 1,200 precast concrete panels. This type of construction is known as prefabricated modular building. Using this method, a pair of towers located in Singapore have set the record for the tallest in the world, 140 meters. Most of the construction is done off-site, which increases building speed and reduces site waste this construction method is the way of the future. I hope to make a video regarding this topic coming soon. Now back to Milwaukee. 411 has been home to the Quarles and Brady Law Firm since 1986 and the Von Briesen and Roper Law Firm since 1985. In 2014, Five Mile Capital Partners purchased the building for $74 million and is currently implementing $17.5 million in renovations. The Associated Bank River Center building was completed in 1988. It was the second tallest building at the time of its completion. The peaked roof, red brick, and the use of green glass pays homage to Milwaukee City Hall. The building is primarily used for offices and is attached to a restaurant and hotel. In my opinion, it is one of the most attractive buildings in the city. Its simplicity, sharp angles, and dark colors make for an ominous presence that makes you feel important as you walk through it. Formerly known as the Milwaukee Center, in March of 2016, Associated Bank announced it was acquiring the tower, and on December 9th of 2019, they announced the name change. University Club Tower, positioned just south of Kilbourne Tower, which if you remember was number 9 on our list. University Club is a luxury condominium tower finished in 2007 that stands 37 stories tall. Originally planned in 2002, there were a series of setbacks before construction, Concerns with the building included a limited number of parking spots and a potential obstruction of views of Lake Michigan. The tower is the second tallest building in the city constructed in the 21st century, however remains the tallest residential tower to this day. Formerly known as the Faison Building, 
The 100 East Wisconsin was built in 1989 on the site of the old Pabst Tower located in downtown along the river at the corner of Water and Wisconsin Avenue. This building pays homage to the Pabst Tower with its German-American postmodern architecture. Unfortunately, I think it is a poor substitute for the tower that was demolished in 1981. I will be making a video about the history of the Pabst Tower in the future. The 100 East Wisconsin is most beautiful when lit up at night and stands as one of three buildings in the city technically classified as skyscrapers. Northwestern Mutual Tower and Commons is a 32-story skyscraper. The company's former 16-story building was demolished to make room for the new 1.1 million square foot building, which is undoubtedly the largest building by square footage in Wisconsin. And with such a massive building comes the longest continuous concrete pour in the history of the state. A 27-hour pour, 10,000 cubic yards of concrete, enough to fill a football field 5 foot deep. The new tower was completed in 2017 at an estimated cost of $450 million. This building has changed the skyline and served as a catalyst for a boom in development throughout Milwaukee. It is also one of the most attractive towers in the city, and not just the building itself, but the landscaping on the front lawn is especially beautiful when lit up at night. Finally comes the tallest building on our list, U.S. Bank Tower. Originally called the First Wisconsin Center, plans were announced by the First Wisconsin National Bank to construct a new headquarters building in August of 1969. The building was topped out on August 29th of 1972, however nine months after the topping out ceremony, two fatalities occurred on the worksite. The building changed names in 1992 to the First Star Center, which lasted until 2002, when it changed to its final name, the U.S. Bank Tower. Completed in September of 1973, the tower stands as the tallest building in the state of Wisconsin and the city of Milwaukee, and is the only building on this list to take the title from the previous world record holder, City Hall. Unfortunately, even though it is our tallest building, it would be in a three-way tie for 48th tallest building in Chicago. Hopefully soon we will dethrone our current record holder and build something more competitive on the world stage. This tower will be the tallest mass timber tower in the world. Let me say that again. This mass timber tower located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin will be the tallest in the world. Ascent Milwaukee is a 25-story luxury residential tower scheduled to begin construction in June of 2020 with a completion in early 2022. The tower will not breach the top 10 tallest buildings in Milwaukee. However, for the material it is made from, it will reach new heights. If you are unfamiliar with mass timber or cross laminated timber, it is made by cutting boards and stacking their grains perpendicular to one another in layers, and then gluing them together creating a beam that is impressively fire resistant as well as being a renewable resource, with a negative carbon footprint. It will have a CO2 benefit equivalent of taking 2,350 cars off the road per year. This material is going to change the way we view wood and the way we construct buildings in the future. Hopefully this is just the first of many record-breaking wooden towers built in this city. Milwaukee City Housing Authority proposed a 32-story mixed-income apartment tower in April of 2019. The tower would have around 315 to 350 apartments and accommodate roughly 40,000 square feet of office space. Its plans call for a swimming pool and fitness center. It would be located on 1.4 acres of land south of the nine-story Convent Hill apartment building for low-income seniors. This location is topographically one of the higher points in the city, roughly 40 feet higher than the base of the U.S. Bank Tower, and if built, would give it advantage over the other buildings on the skyline. Even though it is reported at 32 stories, there hasn't been an exact height associated with this tower, which prevents us from accurately placing it in the top 10 lineup. That being said, 777 is also a residential tower with 34 floors, so I estimate that if built, it would be roughly 110 meters, just edging out the Milwaukee City Hall. Regardless of the exact height, a top 10 building would be a welcome addition to our skyline. Last but not least is the 44-story Couture Tower. The same team that brought Milwaukee the Modern will also be building the centerpiece in our lakefront gateway development. The tower will house 302 luxury apartments and will be the fourth tallest building in the state when completed. 
The base of the building will include a streetcar stop, a grocery store, a restaurant, and public areas. This building will redefine Milwaukee's image and give us a new sense of identity. Demolition of the bus barn was completed in February of 2017, and groundbreaking was expected to occur in October of 2018. That being said, it is now spring of 2020, and it still hasn't broken ground yet, and there hasn't been any news on the development recently. With all of the negativity in the world at the moment, I will hold out hope for this tower. Here is a rendition of what the skyline will look like when completed. This building has been a long time in the making, and many are excited to see the future of what is possible in the city. Thank you for watching. Please look forward to my next video on the Milwaukee Central Park Project, coming soon.